All right, everybody, welcome to another video. And uh, the Dremel tool that I just got is fully charged, and I'm going to put it to the ultimate test. This is probably going to be the hardest thing I do with this portable Dremel tool. Uh, I'm going to see if I can sand down this Kydex holster to better fit my gun. As you can see, there is a about a little bit over half an inch space between the barrel, uh, end of the barrel of the gun all the way to the bottom of the holster. I'm going to try to shave that down. And I know dang old nerd is cringing right now as I'm making this video uh, because he's probably going to say, no, don't do it. You're going to ruin the holster. But uh, see, when I wear this uh, in my appendix, I feel like the bottom part of the holster is pressing down against uh, my uh, pelvis. So what I'm going to try to do, like I said, I think this holster was actually made to fit the XL model, which has the longer slide and barrel. Uh, I'm sure that uh, this holster was uh, also made to accommodate the 36, 36, P365, um, the smallest version of the uh, six hour P365. But uh, like I said, the, the holster is uh, about a half an inch longer than the slide and the barrel of the 36, and the 365X and I believe the 365XL has the longer slide and barrel that better fits this uh, holster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, sander on the Dremel and see if the sander would actually grind down that Kydex uh, and make it uh, better fit. So I guess I'll use the coarse one here. Uh, let me see. See if I can get this fit in there. There we go. There you go. Make sure that's in there tight. All right, so uh, hang tight. All right, so um, I got the holster marked off with tape. This is how much I'm going to try to sand off with the Dremel. And uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see if the Dremel can do it. All right.
All right, well, uh, as you can see, it's almost down to the tape line. It is grinding it down pretty good. It's almost a half an inch. And uh, I have to say it's working. <laughs> it's grinded down all the way almost to the tape line. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing it. I'm going to maybe do it a fast lapse, uh, time lapse. All right. All right, so as you can see, <clears throat> I pretty much grind it away all the way down to the tape line here. And uh, I'm just going to put the gun in and see where the gun is at. I'm going to put the... Okay, so now as you can see, the end of the... You can see the end of the uh, barrel and the slide and end of the gun here at the end it's almost flush not plush flush to the bottom of the holster uh, I'd have to say that Dremel just ate the crap out of this Kydex uh, into little fine granular I hope I should have maybe wore a mask because <laughs> I hope I didn't breathe, breathe none of that in so what I'm going to do I didn't want to go too far into the light housing area because I think this is where your uh, tension is for the gun. So I don't want to eat up too much of this right here. I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down just a little bit and then I'm going to smooth it out with a finer sandpaper. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. Well, I'll leave it on for now. All right, <clears throat> let's uh, switch out. Well, let me get a little, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna have to go down a little bit further, okay. So, I'm going to stop grinding away the Kydex now. And uh, I'll wear the Kydex where it, uh, to this, like this for now. And see if uh, this is more comfortable. If not, I'll probably wind up sanding or grinding away. Grinding away a little bit more of this part right here. After I wear the Kydex and uh, the holster and see if it'll 
be more comfortable, <clears throat> more compact as compact fit in my uh, when I wear it. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use the finer this uh, I'm not sure. Let me see here which one. switch out the All right. so I'm going to go ahead and sand that down I mean uh, smooth that out a little bit Ooh, look at that stuff all over me <laughs> alright I'll be right back alright so here is the Reprofiled or shaved down version of the holster. I've took almost a half an inch, slightly a little bit more than half an inch off the bottom of the holster uh, to shorten the length of the holster. Uh, <clears throat> so hopefully it'll dig less into my uh, lower thigh. When I sit down, um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to dig too much into the light housing area because I know that's where all the tension is. Uh, so I left that alone. But as far as the front end here, let's put the gun in and see how well it fits. And now you can see the bottom is pretty plush. I'm gonna need to go purchase some finer sandpaper to sand this rough edge down a little bit. Um, Dango Nerd, if you're watching this video, and I know you are, and I know you're kind of cringing as you watch this. Let me know what uh, type of sandpaper I need to get or what I need to do to smooth this edge out. Uh, aside from that, I think it was a... The, I don't know if I did the right thing, but <laughs> the Dremel tool definitely is no lightweight. Uh, I thought it being only 1200 RPM, 12,000 RPM and battery powered, I didn't think it was going to do some serious eating up of this kydex but it did i mean it just ate up the kydex like it was on a belt sander <laughs> so yeah uh i would say the dremel tool definitely a handy tool to have for any kind of hobby that uh hyper tough uh rotary tool was total disappointment didn't work much at all here I'm going to go ahead and put the holster on and see how comfortable it is compared to when it wasn't. I'll try to post a uh, picture before I modify this of what it looked like and put it side by side comparison. Alright, stand by. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take my jacket off and put the holster on. I don't have my belt on me, but got all this kydex bits all over me. <laughs> yep. I think that half an inch that I shaved off did a little bit to alleviate the pressure against my upper leg when I sit down. Uh, only time will tell. You can never tell by initial impressions. You always have to wear it and wear it all day. And uh, you have to kind of wear it with your regular clothes all day in a real life situation to really determine if it's real comfortable or not. First impressions can always mislead you. Right now it feels comfortable, uh, but as the day drags on, uh, you'll feel 
uh, you'll feel it more. So I won't be able to really tell you how much more comfortable it is with this modification, but right now it feels okay. it feels a little better, I think. Um, but ultimately, this video was about the Dremel tool, and uh, <laughs> it ate up that Kydex, so I'm happy with it. Uh, as long as it doesn't break like the hyper tough rotary tool did, uh, I'm really happy with this. I highly recommend it for now. All right. Thanks for watching.